Hey everybody, this is Carl Owen, talking cam degree tech today, and while I look for top dead center here, let me explain why you would want to do a cam degree and why you would not want to do a cam degree. I'm going to start off with why you would not. And basically, in a nutshell, um, if you're, you're, you don't have the equipment or your engine's in the car and you don't have the room and you're doing a cam swap, that is a perfectly reasonable reason why not to do it. Because manufacturers usually never mess up what, you know, maybe you're going to, what could it be? A wrong cam in the box? That could happen. The chances are slim. Uh, so um, if they grind the lobes wrong, that could happen. The chances are slim. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say, you don't need to degree your cam if you're doing a quick swap um, and you're, you know, how are you gonna do it while it's in the car and you don't have the tools? Now, if you have a new engine or a rebuilt engine on the engine stand, go ahead and degree it. You will be guaranteed to know that your cam is right. But the third reason why you would do it, if you're a, let's, if you're a professional engine builder, you have to do it. It's part of the, the degreeing techniques. That's the number one reason why you degree a camshaft because you're a professional and you have to. So anyway, let's check top dead center here. What I do is get, all right, I check before. I happen to have zero there is before, and it looks like it's four before top dead center. It's going to go to top dead center and then come back. Let's see what I got. Three and a half. That's close. All right, let's back up. Is this really on zero? Look at that. See, not real accurate. Okay. How, how straight it sits in there. I'm going to check uh, intake opening. Here it's on the intake. And do they check? Is the checking at six? I have 34 degrees before top dead center. This cam card says it opens at 37 degrees before top dead center. It doesn't say where to check that at. Usually it's 0 .006. Well, anyway, that would seem like it's uh, retarded. Okay, well, let's go to 50 because there's a checking at 50. Intake is at four degrees before top dead center. The cam card says six. So, looks like I'm two degrees retarded. Now let's go, there, there's point one, let's see max lift. Point two, point three, and okay. Right there, it looks like, you know, 53. So, point three five three is lift. Cam card says, 0.355, so I'm missing two thou. I'm gonna call that something in the fixture. Okay, let's do an intake center line. I just um, get a point before the lobe. Okay, I'm gonna, at the 50 there, take a reading. 97. Then roll up to the top of the lobe and catch it on the back side. 117. Okay, 97 plus 117 is 224 divided by 2 is 107. The, the cam card says intake center line is 107. So I do believe this is right on the dot. If it was different, if it's different by oh, 2 degrees one way or the other, you might want to change the sprocket to the advanced or retarded uh, position. Uh, some, you might not. If it was, oh, like say four degrees off, wonder if something's wrong in, in the manufacturing. The keys, the sprocket, uh, Woodruff keys. Um, uh, let's say the time and set is old. Something's going on there. Uh, you could certainly take the uh, crank sprocket and move it forward 
or back, and, and they've got plenty of those uh, positions. But if it were me, I would think something's wrong with the installation. Anyway, that's it for today. Carlisle Wine, LN Engines, take care.